Many of us will know how difficult it can be to get an appointment with an NHS dentist, but it's not often that we hear from those dentists about the care they're trying to provide. But today we have, with one dentist telling Lucas that without more government funding, he won't be able to keep treating NHS patients beyond September. The British Dental Association has described the situation as a crisis. Lee Milner reports. Palmer Dental. This is just one of three clinics across South Bend and Leon C. Like all NHS dentists, Dr. Nilesh Palmer can only carry out an agreed quota of work over the course of a year, measured in units of dental activity or UDAs as they're known. But for an expanding practice like this, the quota has turned into a nightmare. Our sister practice has expanded. It's much bigger. It's three times bigger than it was. And as a result of that, we've been taking on lots of new NHS patients because, as you know, there's so much demand for NHS dentistry in the UK. Judging by my current projections, we will probably run out of NHS UDAs roughly around about September in that clinic. So from September onwards, all the patients we would see wouldn't be funded by the National Health. They would need to be seen on a private basis. We've applied for additional funding, but the local commissioning body, who are excellent, they're very receptive, they say we don't have enough money from central government to give you so you can see more NHS patients. A BBC investigation in 2022 found that nine in 10 NHS dental practices across the UK were no longer accepting new adult patients for treatments on the NHS. It found the lack of NHS appointments had led people to drive hundreds of miles in search of treatment, pull out their own teeth without anaesthesia, or resort to making their own improvised dentures. We're seeing protests outside dental practices. We're seeing new practices opening, being absolutely flooded within minutes of far too many patients than they'd ever be able to look after. You know, it, it's clear to see that NHS dentistry isn't functional anymore. It is not working. Uh, it's not a service that is providing consistent care throughout the UK. In a statement, the Department for Health and Social Care said, we're continuing our work on reforming the dental contract alongside the sector to make further improvements. And integrated care boards can agree for practices to deliver up to 110% of the contract value where they agree that there is a need. But Dr Palmer says demand in Essex is too high and the only way dentists can keep providing treatments on the NHS is for the government to scrap the quota system completely. Lee Milner, BBC Look East in Essex. Okay.